Hey guys, welcome to my VWT5 bus, which has been my home for a little bit over a year now. Um, I'm gonna show you guys around. This one is the um, long wheelbase model uh, with a 4x4 and 140 horsepower. It's been previously owned by the German bomb disposal unit, which is a little bit funny and also why it's only one pre-owner but I don't know how many drivers. But so far, let me show you around. So I had the roof and windows fitted for me because at the time I was a little bit too scared to cut holes in my own van. I wanted something, somebody else to do that. Um, I'm, I, haven't quite re I haven't regretted that yet. So those things are great. Um, let me show you around. So we have a comparatively small garage to our vans, but it's enough for me. I get all my paragliding stuff in here. Um, I get a little bit of outdoor equipment and winter equipment in those boxes. And that's basically everything I need. Um, everything else is inside, so let's get into it. Come in. So this is my living room. Um, I may be the only self-built van that I know of that has a free guitar guitar rack built in. Um, I initially wanted to also keep a bass guitar with me, but that never happened. So it's only my two guitars. Um, yeah, other than that, we have an L couch that we can build out into a bed, which we're gonna do later. Um, we're having all the electrics are in here. So, all the um, uh, fridge switches, uh, light switches, um, the uh, um, AC power and DC power all in here. We have 200 watts of solar on the roof, which is all fed into a 120 amp hour battery behind this. And yeah, um, when I built this, I was uh, quite concerned with working and eating in here. So um, it took me a while in this small space to get my head around the concept of a table. Um, so what I did actually is I put a table in here, um, that thing comes out and then you have a small foot in here that pulls out, you can put that in here, build the table into that one and now somebody can work or eat here, um, which is quite nice because it actually doesn't uh, require any space when it's not a table. Um, yeah, so from the table, let's start looking into things. <laughs> so first thing, um, my water system, I got this um, bowl, which is a marmalade, marmalade bowl actually. Uh, so I got this from Amazon as a bowl where people do make uh, marmalade in them. Um, just cut a hole into it, that's it. I got this faucet is uh, a heating um, pipe which I got from my uh, brother's house built and we just bent into shape um, and we have the most simple water system that you can imagine down here um, where it's just it's just a fresh water tank goes through a foot pump um, comes out of the faucet and goes into the gray, wa gray water tank and that's all canisters that you can take out if you want so, we got my whole closet in here, um, that's my everything I own. Um, we got what I call my cellar, which is initially I wanted this to be my clothes storage and then I found out that my clothes go until here, so I'm using this for basically everything else. Um,
yeah and you have to come to the other side with me so on the other side we've got down here some dry storage um, then we've got all of the kitchen in here and last but not least um, German regulations when you want to put in a cooker are a little bit extreme unless you use a cooker that's basically just a camping cooker because when you do that that's yeah you just have a cooker it's not something that's built into the car and so that's what I did is I have a little two burner stove in here with some camping gas um, it's not optimal but it works I have to change these out like once a week or something um, and it's quite enough for me actually so we also get with me um, quite sizable fridge here at least for one person and that's the whole kitchen actually you've seen it all I think let's get on let me show you the bedroom <laughs> so um, we actually got two bedrooms in here um, let me show you upstairs just stand and follow me and it's actually quite comfy and spacey up here, uh, spacious up here. Um, yeah, this is where I normally sleep when I'm standing somewhere a little bit longer. Um, mainly because now I can make my bed and when I'm waking up, I can just go downstairs. Push it all out of the way and then we're done. Um, so if you standing somewhere where you can't put the roof up or if it's raining outside and you're standing there for not very long you also get downstairs which I used in winter quite a lot actually because that doesn't isolate very well um, you pull this one out you use the two cushions back here to make a full mattress it's uh, it's a 180 which is a few centimeters longer than I am so I um, basically built that around me but it works perfectly <laughs> so this is the van that I've been living in for a little bit more than a year now um, it's been awesome it's been uh, a lot of new experiences a lot of adventures a lot of pushing me outside my comfort zone and uh, making me do stuff against my um, against my inner unmotivativeness um, in Germany we have the term inner Schweinehund and I wouldn't change it for anything in this world um, this year has thrown me as well as a lot of other travelers I know quite a curveball um, because as you know traveling isn't all that perfect right now so I decided to actually use this time um, and build out something bigger so I'm gonna sell this van um, and buy a sprinter van that I'm gonna convert and take you guys with me on the journey and um, yeah thank you so much for watching I'll see you all next week I hope Lost my train of thought. <laughs> choo choo! <laughs> <laughs> ah, das nehmen wir mit.